Hello guys, this is Thread Tools. Today I'm going to show you guys how to sharpen French Edger. Uh, French Edger is that one type of edger that has very um, flat bottom and very wide gap. Uh, depending on the size, uh, this width determines. So what I have here is today Dixon. Uh, it's, it's a Dixon French Edger. Uh, they're not new. Uh, I got it used. Uh, it's a vintage tool. It was a vintage tool. Uh, Dixon uh, closed down years ago. Uh, it's a said that uh, you know, lots of good maker tools are now disappearing. But uh, I see some of the good makers, recent new ones. But uh, you know, it's hard, it's a sad to see traditions go away. Uh, uh, recently, leathercraft is being popular uh, around the world. So I hope uh, leather tool makers stay in business for a long time. Okay. So it was Dixon made by Dixon, and uh, it has a, a, a vintage steel. Uh, it's not a best steel in the world, but uh, in the old days, you know, these worked fine. So I use it this time to time on my leather craft work. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how to sharpen this to to in a workable condition. Uh, you want your French editor to be really really sharp because uh, you are using the tool like a push cut motion uh, and the, if you want to do push cut something you want the edge to be very very sharp okay so it's it's uh, push cutting is uh, is can be done when the edge is really sharp so in order to do that you need to have really really sharp and you have to strop it often between projects so the edge stays sharp okay now uh, what you need is, uh, if your edge is really dull, or if you want to recondition your vintage uh, tool to like a workable shape, uh, you need sandpaper and sharpening stone. But uh, if you bought uh, like a new French etcher, like a Barry King French etcher or a Ron French etcher, uh, you just need a strop. Uh, and if your strop cannot bring the edge back to sharp, uh, you can work on sandpaper and uh, sharpening stone. So the method that I'm going to show you guys is fairly simple and uh, easy to understand and you can also do it on a do it like this on a strop and the sharpening stone so it doesn't really matter. So I will just uh, explain you on a, on a strop, okay? So just uh, take a close look at the edge of the of this tool. So it has a flat bottom, okay? Flat bottom just edge is fully flat all the way. And then you the top side uh, there's no like a uh, angle edge okay just the one two flat sides meet to the point okay it shows like this okay has a bended neck so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to flatten uh not flatten i mean sharpen on the flat side first and then i do the devouring on the top side okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, draw. Uh, you never push into the strop. Uh, rule number one for using strop is that you only pull. Okay, you never do this. Okay, you only pull. Okay, so um, if you can see the tip uh, closely, uh, the tip is kind of curved up towards the top. I mean the uh, to the uh, up. So it has some kind of um, like um, like a this shape. Okay. So what you need to do is you start from here and then as you pull you go into raise okay you raise like this okay so take a look closer look at your edger you know what the makers originally put so you don't want to ruin that in order to work function uh, as intended to be so I'm going to follow the contour so I'm going to draw on a coarse grid uh, this is a gray compound it's a more of a coarse uh, compound in the polishing compound, but uh, this is still finer than the sandy paper. Okay. Then I move to higher grid. And then what you need is this. Okay, cut the thick leather in the width of your French etcher. Okay, just 
just barely fit enough between the guide okay and then you uh, devour like the okay if you do the the sharp if you flat flatten the flat side bottom side a uh, small wire edge will form towards the, the top okay uh, you will remove this using this so it will bend this way so that this will break off okay so you press the small strop it's printed but uh, I gently pull okay like this and then I just sharpen the back side once more and then now you're ready to go okay I'm going to do some testing with this leather yeah. Oh yeah, that's sharp. Okay. All right. So, uh, you you may want to skive whole piece down to certain thickness if you want, but uh, you can do also curves and uh, sides or just uh, you know. You can do whatever you want, your French etcher, it's uh, usability is uh, limitless, so, yep, it's, it's, it's going great, okay. Let me do the turns. Okay, that was it. So, if you want to, you know, to maintain your tools, uh, you should use sandpaper, sharpening stone, or straw. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe. And uh, if you like this video, please place thumbs up. And I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.